question 35 reads consider the following organization or bodies in india the national commission for backward classes the national human rights commission national law commission national consumer dispute redressal commission how many of the above are constitutional bodies so it's a concept question from polity <clears throat> all the if you are a person who have read lakshmi gant and prepared notes from it there are a separate there is a separate se section for all the constitutional bodies you should be very familiar with all the constitutional bodies how what are the, who are the members of the constitutional bodies how they are elected what are their qualification what are different um purpose functions of constitutional bodies you should be familiar with all these things for mains and for prelims so uh, for a person who is familiar with all those details just naming whether these bodies are constitutional bodies or not will be very easy so but i have given different sources which uh, explains which kind of explains why these questions uh, came look let me just open up the links one second uh, so this is the first link Center year two constitute ninth national commission for backward classes. So it central government is yet to appoint the chairperson and members of the ninth commission for backward classes, despite the term of the previous commission ending four months ago. So there is a mention of this. The previous panel was the first to be accorded constitutional status through hundred and second constitutional amendment. <coughs> Sorry. So it is clearly explained hundred and second constitutional amendment. was a uh, gave ncbc constitutional status you can read the uh, news if you want so this is the first news let me just go to the next news so that and uh, that answers whether ncbc is a constitutional body from newspaper itself so giving human rights commission more teeth is uh, the second uh, article so here um how this um human rights act uh, commission was uh, created is all explained here um, and i think in this article it says um, human uh, human rights commission need constitutional status uh, to so let me just check um so it doesn't i don't think there is a direct statement but for, if you read through this article it will be very clear that uh, the human rights uh, the uh, the human rights uh, right to, um, human rights commission uh, is established under an act and it's not a constitutional body so uh, and it's all almost uh, in the mains we all um, in ma multiple questions uh, to strengthen human rights commission what all we can do is a important area uh, there are different recommendations and one of it is, is according human rights commission a constitutional status okay sorry sorry uh, i missed this part uh, it's 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 actually mentioned some of these bodies are constitutional bodies established by the constitution itself these include for instance election commission and office of the comptroller and auditor general others have been estab established under law for example information commission under right to information act and human rights commission under protection of human rights act so it is clearly mentioned it's not a constitutional body and it it is established under an act in the news itself sorry for missing so uh, uh, miss, uh, it one could answer uh, whether human rights commission is a constitutional body from this article let me just open up the next news terms of 22nd law commission 
so there there was a news regarding locomotion also uh, again uh, different features of locomotion uh, is mentioned in this news and locomotion is another uh, body uh, est- uh, which is uh, established by executive action it's not a constitutional body so again uh, you could read this if you want uh, th- this was another article where one of the options was mentioned in the hindi newspaper you can see another another um, article here which discuss about national uh, consumer dispute redressal commission which is also established by an act uh, uh, so it's also not a constitutional body uh, again this was also in news so as you can see even though this is a basic question from polity even though the this question uh, let me just this question is from uh, a static portion of the polity most of the bodies were in news and you should and that is one good reason to uh, give focus to those bodies while reading lakshmi kant the so my advice is whenever you read newspaper and you see some uh, overlap between the static and dy- dynamic current affairs portion give importance to that particular static portion uh, there is it is highly likely that that questions will come from that static portion so here it is one such example uh, this question probably came because all these uh, commissions were uh, in news and uh, it could be otherwise also but i am saying yeah, all these commissions were in news so yes that is question 35 let's move on to next question 36 